This is our, our tenth year of growing, and I started from the very beginning. Back in 2012, uh, Shim had reached out for volunteers to help with um, starting a garden, which was this garden that you see right here, as a pilot program to see if it would be something that might help with the uh, fresh produce needs for our food pantries. And myself and two other individuals were picked to kind of lead this project. And we did that all on our own, three volunteers that first year. A um, lot of work, a lot of trial and error, but it ended up that we grew 1,500 pounds of produce that was distributed at our food pantries that year. So as word got out about the, six, the first year success of the garden, we were approached by other community um, organizations, mo mostly faith-based, um, interested in starting their own gardens to support our, our efforts. And so we helped to facilitate implementation of these gardens on their property and they take care of the um, volunteers and anything that needs to be taken care of with the garden. This garden began in 2018. Uh, it was a spin-off of our Catholic Men's Fellowship Group. Uh, we were looking for a way to um, increase the volunteer effort of people in the church to serve others. We had nobody who could be a gardener. Uh, but we had, you know, planning skills and thoughts and promise. So we went down and met with Becky Henninger, who's been a big, big help for us. The goals for this year are to have a healthy garden, uh, a lot less weeds. So we put down the uh, wood chips and built the, the beds up. So a lot less weeding, um, a lot more healthier plants. And, and we believe that being healthier plants will produce more poundage. I was raised in the Midwest and my dad was a Missouri farmer, and I retired um, the year that they were really starting to talk about this garden, so it was just perfect timing. Virtually everyone here has the clients and those in need um, in their hearts, and that's why they're here. Um, most all of them have always liked to be outside and like to be in a garden. They don't mind coming in and just being on their knees weeding. We do not take anything home from here. Everything, 100% of this goes to the Shim Food Banks. I've always liked uh, building things and doing things, so that sort of became my role, and it's just snowballed. But it's been, it's been very, very rewarding. Last summer, when COVID was really in the throes and we were all so uncertain, this was an outdoor project. It was one of the things we could do and still be face-to-face, -face, socially distanced, and it just felt good. The gardens are a great part of the parish because uh, a lot of people, it uh, gets a lot of people involved. You know, we can always, and we do, you know, take up collections for different charitable causes and so forth. And, you know, people are very generous about contributing financially. But the neat thing about this is it gives people another opportunity that they can contribute using, you know, talents and time that they may have. I also really enjoy working with the kids. It's seeing the, the kids in the after school program and the summer camp program and being able to teach them about composting and um, water conservation. They will come to the garden and will walk around the garden and they can ask questions and touch and they can taste some of the, the things that we're growing. We're able to teach them about the benefits of good soil and the benefits of growing things organically. You, you can do a lot of different types of volunteering and I, I, all volunteering is good, but when you get down to the individual level and you're actually talking to the people that are benefiting from it, uh, it's, it's probably the most rewarding. We, we do a lot in the community and, uh, and I think that that's probably what's keeping this group together. It's just nice to know that the, the church and the priests uh, 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 allow us to continue to do this. And of course, it's nice to be able to help people that uh, cannot uh, uh, care for themselves. And it's all about the food for the needy and it's all, all about the camaraderie for the workers. But when one part of the body suffers, the whole body suffers. And so, you know, it's a reminder that, you know, we focus on on the things that uh, are important and, you know, taking care of people who, who could, can use a hand.
I, I think the, the good thing is it's, it's, it's an extension of the church, you know? Usually after mass, you know, we got a phrase, you know, the mass has ended, go in peace, go and do good things in the world. And so, you know, we've got some folks that are taking that to heart and they're doing good things for the Lord and for those who need it.